my name is Sam. Let me officially welcome you to my YouTube channel. So this is where we'll be giving you interesting, interesting topics around electrical installation. I would love you to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Turn your notification on. So then I will drop an interesting video so you'll be able to watch them. Today we want to look into how to build and connect a solar system. You can see that solar is one of the cheapest electricity supply that we can have in our day during this period of time. So, and we have four major components when it comes to solar installation systems. The number one out of the component is we have our battery. So this is the battery as you can see. It. So this is actually a 12 volt battery. It's a 12 volt battery as you can see. It. And the major work of the battery is just to store the energy to when you are going to need it. Then number two, we have our inverting machines. These are inverter, these are inverting machines. And the major work of an inverting machine is to convert direct current, which is also known as DC, to alternating current that is needed in the house. So the energy coming from the sunlight, which will be attracted by your um, solar panel, so is a direct current. But you need something to convert it from direct current to AC, which is alternating current, because most of the electronics you're using in the house, your TV, your blender, your pressing iron, so they are actually alternating current. So, but you need something to convert it from DC to DC. So that's just the major work of this one. Then we have our solar charger controller. So these are solar charger controller. The major work is just to connect the cable coming from the panel, solar panel to the battery. Then that's just to connect, just to produce. So that's just the major work. Of it. Then we have two types of solar charger controller. We have the digital one. So this is the digital. As you can see, it has screen. This is the analog one. The major difference between them is that the digital one has screen, whereby you're able to read the voltage of the battery. While analog doesn't have any screen, so it's, it only has the indicator. So that's just the major difference between them. And this is the cable coming from the solar panel. See, so then, then this is the cable coming that is going to feed the battery. So let's now go into the connection proper, so as to know how to do the connection. You can see that this is your battery. So we have a positive cable, which is this red, red cable. Then we have the negative cable also, which is black, as you can see. So these are positive, these are negative. So the positive cable coming from the solar, the solar charger controller. So you see that it is terminated here. And the negative also coming from the solar charger controller, it's terminated here also. Then this is the positive coming from the inverting machine and this is the negative so it's been connected positive coming from the inverting machine is connected to the positive battery as you can see it's right there it's me then the negative also will be connected together as you can see it's right there then you now see this is a cable so this is what we use to represent the load in the house when you are done with all your power, all your connections and everything you want to put under your solar system so this is what we can use to represent it at the back of this solar uh, inverter machine you can see that there is a socket the way that you able to use to plug your every um, up, uh, every component every electronics that you want to put on the solar system so it is plugged here so this is the plug and this is the cable so it is plugged here as you can see it's right there then once they are done with the connection we want to test our system we see that you need to on you need to on it right here so you can see that the bulb actually comes up so the bulb is on so show, which shows that our connection is actually right so if you remove it you see that it has off so you plug it so every of your gadgets so this is where you plug it and you see that the bulb is actually working so that's how the connection is being done so that's how the connection is being done then the connection of the of the solar panel so it also has positive and negative also as you can see it also has a positive and negative also so that's how the connection is being done so thank you very much for your time if you have any question so you can use the comment um below to ask your question then i also drop my email then also my whatsapp number you can chat on whatsapp call me anytime as any inquiries regards to like installation or any other electrical installation questions that you might have thank you very much watch the video don't forget to subscribe to this youtube channel i'll promise to be giving interesting videos and content in our electrical installation. Once again, my name is Sam. Thank you.